Well, first of all, he's he's 22 years old, Skip. Okay, Michael, three years of college, and man, basically six months walking around Athens, Georgia, right? I yep. mean, that's basically what it is. But when you talk about size, Michael 6'6", six, six, about a buck 95. He played at the height 210, 215 when he was fly sky in MJ mm -hmm. championships. And man, 6'4", 225. A little yep. thicker, a mm -hmm. little more girth to him, stronger, a little more power in the base. But all of the athleticism is there. Very similar. I tried to, you know, I said it to you yesterday, and y'all looked at me like I was, or you did at least looked at me like I was halfway crazy. Michael didn't develop a deadly mid-range jumper to around his fifth year or so in the NBA where it was just, it was just super wet. A lot of the stuff what that man is doing now is what Jordan was doing early in his career, just being able to take over and take control. Now, when you talk about from a numbers standpoint, four years into the NBA, Michael was averaging 35 a game. But Michael was by himself. And just basically, you want to call it a hot dog? He was hot dogging, which which you should do when you by yourself. Ant-Man's got a few more players around him, so he's averaging 20, what is it, 26? I'll give you 27. 27. Yeah, yeah. 27 points mm -hmm. a game. But he's got other pieces around him that he has to defer to and do some things. Now, when you start talking about rebounds, they're about even at five. You start talking about assists, about even at five. You know, steals a game. Jordan was a little bit better defender, I would think, at this stage in his career versus Ant-Man doesn't mean Ant-Man's not going to be better yep. at doing it or equal him. When I say I look at it, I'm looking at the entire package that they both presented. I'm talking about the charisma, the smile, the dunking, the conversations, just all of those. It's a package mm. that Kobe had as well. And I think he's headed, just like Michael said, it's very similar. So if he's saying it, he and just you says, up, I see some similarities. Some, some, that's saying yeah. it. But you know Michael, the way I know Michael, that, that's, that's like a little pat on the head. Like, I yes, see some that's, and similarities. That, and that's okay. Yeah. yeah. That's okay. There's mm -hmm. certain players that you would say, he reminds you of somebody, and that person would say, nah, he not quite. But he's got a lot of that. I mean, look at, look at that. I mean, that, that's, get, that's just get out my way stuff. Mm -hmm. And that's what Michael had. So there are some similarities. I understand... We look at the finished product and we dare compare somebody to the finished product. But you got to look at it in his first four years, five mm -hmm. years, six years, seven years, and then we can worry about the finished product at the end. That's a long ways down the track. Mm -hmm. But we've seen, what, 15 years, Michael? That's a, that's a lot. We've only seen four years of this kid, and you sit there and you go, each year, it's getting better and better and better. And better. So if you mm -hmm. project out four years from now, hell, he could, like Paul said, all of a sudden, they get on a run in Minnesota, they can keep it together and get another piece here. They might be some teams, you know, you start talking about they over the hump. Oh my God, it's them in Denver for the next six or seven years. That's mm -hmm. how you look at it. Is that how you're predicting it? Is that what you're seeing? Is that what your gut is <laughs> I, telling you? My gut is telling me that he ain't going to be in Minnesota long. That's what my gut is telling me. Because you want him in L.A. <laughs> yeah, but but if if some reason they could get over the hump, he's the type of player and leader that can do some of the same things that Michael was able to do. It may not be six championships, okay? It just may not be. It, 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 championships is hard, mm. as you know. But he may get one. He may get two. You know, he may... He, all of a sudden, he becomes a... a, a, a all-star for the next 10, 12 years. Mm. We only talking about the, these first four, though, because it's hard to project way out where Michael ended his career. It's just hard. Okay. I don't know whether to laugh or cry over this conversation to start with, because it, it is laughable to me to even start with it, and I cry Why? only for this kid, because you want to talk about unfair? And just, by the way, if we can come back to reality just for a moment. We did talk about it yesterday. I'm sure everybody was talking about it all across sports media. I'm guessing that maybe Anthony heard some of that talk and it started to creep into his psyche like, I gotta be Jordan, I gotta be Jordan. And last night he was not Jordan. 
because he had a chance, he had a golden opportunity at home to say, okay, I got this, because he didn't have any of his big guys. Obviously, Cat's out for a while, if not for the whole season, and Gobert's got some rib cage strain or something, so he's been out for a couple of games. And then Nas Reed wasn't able to play last night, so all of a sudden, it's sort of Anthony versus the world, and the world is the defending champ Nuggets, but up there in Minneapolis, in that building, which is becoming, because of Ant-Man, one of the loudest places to play in the league because they are going crazy for their T-Wolves who are hovering at the top of the Western Conference standings, as you know. So Anthony was sensational last night through three quarters because he had 30, let's see, I got the, He hit 30. He had 30 through three quarters and they're, they're down only three after three. He was, uh, e even in the, the third quarter alone, he scored 14 points on six and nine shots and hit two or three threes. And to your point, after one of his threes, when the Nuggets had to call timeout to stop the bleeding, so to speak, he did a big loop around the, the whole arena, you know, saying, come on, come on, come on, let's go. And that's what you love, what I love about him. He's got big charisma, big personality. He's not afraid of that moment with, with, to, to let his personality show. And then we get to the fourth quarter, and he shoots it four times and misses all four of them, including three threes. And they had chance after chance after chance, and he just couldn't cash. And it, I think we're seeing his shots. That's the first one. He thought he got fouled. I didn't. Then he rushed that one a little bit, and it was short. And then here we go again. That was a pretty open look. I thought he would cash that one. And then this is the last play. Okay, so just bef w w while we're on... The, the small picture here. Let's look at this last play because now you've got a shot to tie the game. Yes. And, and I don't know what KCP is doing because I think he's going to try to intentionally foul. I think he's going to foul and he just falls. I don't know what he... He, 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 lost, he, he lost his footing yeah. early. He was getting ready to yeah. slip right there. Yeah. He and, lost his footing. And he, he lost his footing. He gives him a wide open See? three that Ant-Man leaves a little short right. But <laughs> it was the weirdest play because... As you know, KCP, he is a shrewd operator. Yeah. So at first I thought he was going to take him full court, and then he's kind of deking him, and he drops quickly back to half court, and then I'm going to pick him up at half court, and I think he was going to just reach in and foul him just to eat some of the clock. Probably you know? so. Yeah. He slipped, though. Yeah. He, he slipped he, right he there. He just slipped down, and then all of a sudden, Anthony Edwards has got a wide-open three. He had a wide-open yeah. three, and he looked down to see exactly yeah. where he was at when he pulled the trigger. Yeah. People miss those shots, you know? No, I know. Yeah, Jordan, it, it, Jordan missed a few of them, but he made a whole bunch of them. Everybody, though, Coach, everybody that's great missing done. shots is part of it. You know and I know. When we talk about Michael Jeffrey Jordan, we're talking about the coldest-blooded killer in the history but, of sports but, as far as, yes. as, as just taking games over. Yes. I, I covered him. Yes. I was there. I got to know yes. him. I got to see all, it up close and personal. All it's of like the above. It, it was... <laughs> A, a phenomenon unlike I have never encountered all, all, anywhere. All of the above. He so levitated. Did, he so just did Kobe took Bryant games over. So did Kobe. Career. So did Kobe. Okay, and so did the Diesel in his career yeah, take I, games over. I haven't seen that yet from this kid, and he is still a kid. But to your point, he's played now in 11 postseason games. He's 3-8. and eight. And they've had some pieces to play around with, and, mm -hmm. and yet he's still a baby. He's yeah. an NBA baby. Yes. He's averaged 28, 5, and 4, so he he's been be, right he on. He should be yeah. graduating from college right about mm -hmm. now. Well, nobody you, stays anymore. I understand, but, yeah. but, but, he, but yeah. Michael stayed three years. He did. This kid, like I said, he, he probably couldn't even find no. the cafeteria at Georgia right yeah. now, you know, when he was in school, because he basketball court, whatever little yeah. classes, I, you know, I'm getting I ready to go. I often wonder with the one and dones, do any of them ever go to any class? Yeah, I mean, yeah, they seriously. do. No, they absolutely do yeah. go to class. But, but do some of them never go to class? No, they got You got to go to class. You got to well, stay you, eligible. Well, I, it's just for a semester, really. Yeah, but you got to you got to stay eligible for academic reasons for the university, all that sort of stuff. But can if you they just get underneath? Can your tutor help you? You know, just like d do the work or no, whatever. No, man. No, you gotta no. do your work, man. You gotta do your work in really? school. You really believe that? I don't. I just don't anymore. I, I would think you gotta do something. Yeah. Okay. So whatever. So to your point, 22 years of age, and yet, at, at, if we go, this is his fourth year. Yes, if we look at his, Jordan's fourth, fourth year, year, all of a sudden things are happening where. He's, he's putting on the same high-flying shows, so he's doing the dunking and the blocking and all those sort of things that, that we're seeing this mm -hmm, kid do. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
But remember what happened at the garden, at, the, at Boston Garden in- Oh, Boston Garden. Yeah, remember- Was it called a, the Boston? Yeah, mm -hmm. Boston Garden. Yeah, I don't in, know why I'm thinking parquet, but whatever, that's parquet, the floor. Parquet floor. Game one, they did get swept. Yeah, he gave him 63. Yeah. He gave him 63, and Larry Bird said after the game, I think I just saw Jesus, uh, uh, I'm sorry, Michael Jordan disguised as Jesus. Yeah. Jesus disguised as Michael yeah. Jordan, that's how it was. Because yeah. nobody yeah. dropped 63 on him yeah. before, and nobody all of a sudden, MJ yeah. went crazy. Yeah. I don't know that this kid has 63 potential in him. Maybe he does at some point, but, but my point is, in the end, it's about the intangibles, and the truth is, we just haven't been able to see enough. He hasn't been in the cauldron enough. You know, he hasn't been that's where, very where, true. where, where and that's you why, find that's out. That's why Michael says, I see some similarities. Yeah, right. That's why I said yesterday, similarities. I could have just said Michael and not mentioned Kobe, but it would have been a disservice for me not to mention Kobe, because Kobe is a lot like Michael. Yeah. And this kid has some of that. Now, Michael developed a different type of game as time went on, and so did Kobe. And it, this has the potential to turn into that. Yeah. That's all we're talking about here. Because, yeah. again, Skip, we don't know what the end results are going to look like 13 years yeah. from now. I do think there's some height limitation here, where he's more two-guardish, where Jordan could play more small forward-ish. But, he, plays, he, but got... he plays big. Yeah. He, he plays, plays big. big. No, he's 6'4", 2". Uh, but he you, plays... You got him at 225? Yeah, well, yeah, he's 225. That's a lot. No, he's thick, lot. though. You can look at him yeah. and tell he got, some, he got some muscle to him. Yeah, and Jordan played very strong, but it took the great Tim Grover, his trainer, after they couldn't get past the bad boy Pistons, remember, and they beat him up, and they, the whole book was written about the Jordan rules that the Pistons <laughs> had in place to sort of keep... Michael on the ground. Yeah, Their point was, you, you you can't let him leave. No. Leave. You can't let him rise because if he rises, the, and that's the same thing that this kid yeah. is in. In but the basketball game is different. There, there won't be no ant rules of beating him up because it'll be fouls and it'll be you know it's a different game. Yeah. If 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 he was playing with Jordan and then play, they would probably instill the same thing. Don't yeah. let him get above the rim. Yeah. You know the internet age is something to me because I've known the world without internet and with, <laughs> and now the internet on a nightly basis rushes to fall all over itself to proclaim that he's next. He's the next Jordan, he's, 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 off the dunks and the blocks. Because he just there's a wow blocking, factor. No. No. You, you're not giving him his credit. He ain't mm. just dunking and blocking. Yeah, okay. He, 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 those are a few highlights that we see. But it ain't just dunking and blocking. We see highlights of yeah. Michael Jordan early in his career. And yeah. Michael Jordan was playing defense and, and, and giving 63. All of yeah. a sudden, he going between his legs, and Larry Bird is like, oh, my God. And then, bam, and then he's looking at him as Jesus now. Yeah. If we, the internet was around then, Skip, I, I that's what would go on. I carefully watched all 11 of his playoff games. He did not catch my eye to the point where I'm thinking, you got next. I, I didn't see it. So he's three and eight in those 11. Remember, they lost to the Grizzlies, and then they lost to the Nuggets. I, I understand. Okay? I understand. And I didn't see that yet. I, I, I didn't see where I said, wait a second, that could turn into but, something but special. But maybe it's happening before your eyes right now, and you're just not seeing it. Yeah, maybe. And then maybe when they get to the playoffs, what are they, the two seed right now? I mean, they just keep jockeying. Yeah, whatever. They're the top the three seeds. Yeah. Maybe now, all of a sudden, he gets to the playoffs in his... 12th, 13th, 14th yeah. try in the games. Do you see that? Yeah. You know, I, I am very anxious to see him get Cat back and Gobert and Nas Reed. And then let's see. Once they're full strength, let's see what happens because now it's going to get serious. Well, he has a better cast of teammates around yeah. him yeah. than Michael had in his oh. first four years. Oh, does he? And it's going to be fascinating because depending on where they do end up, as you know, the play-in is just stacked with, with, with sort of older Phoenix, stars or... Phoenix, Mavericks, yeah. Gold State, Lakers. Yeah, and the Kings are still and hovering Kings. in there. So th they're going to draw somebody real credible in round one, and then we'll, we'll start to see. Yeah, you start to yeah. see. Yeah. But I understand. Okay. I dare mention Michael, but for some reason... Michael mentioned it. Maybe he's watching the show, or maybe, yeah, I don't know. Michael's know. trying to be mellow and a nice guy now. He's trying to be, you know, like an ambassador to the league. I see some similarities. He's athletic. Thanks for watching, Undisputed fans. Do you want more highlights from the show? 
make sure to click that subscribe button for all the exclusive content from Undisputed.